Hi again. Here are some other suggestions. Set up in a quiet spot where you can leave your painting to dry. Try a spot that doesn't need to be taken down every time you paint. This could even be your closet. But anywhere, nobody's going to touch it. Two, you will make a mess. Splattering paint, anything related to paint, often means mess. So cover anything that is precious. If needed, put a large plastic sheet on the wall to protect it. You may not need this, but sometimes being prepared is better than being sorry. Start with a way of storing your supplies so when you need them, they are there. This could be a bag, it could be your paint bag, or it could be a small cabinet. Uh, that's your paint cabinet and your materials cabinet. Keep in mind that you will have more fun if you're not constantly scrubbing the floor or wall after each painting session. Prepare. You will be carrying a sketchbook drawing supplies, or a camera with you all the time. Do you have a bag to fit all that stuff in? You may collect pieces of bark, found objects, and more. Do you have plastic bags to bring them home with? Do you have a way of putting these photos in the same place? On an external hard drive or a box for printed photos? Think of ways to store your materials. Again, this is more fun if you are ready and prepared. Start with getting ready. This doesn't have to be elaborate. A plastic bin or a box will do. By the end of the course, you will be able to choose a theme, whether that's colors, shapes, textures, anything. You will focus on this theme, and you will start a collection of ideas related to this theme. So join me in the next video and we'll start there.